Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up and program your Reef Servo. Take a look. This is what you get with your Servo Programmer. You get, obviously, your connection wires. You get the programmer, and then you get your instructions. Open that up. Once you get everything loaded into the computer, that's the screen that you're going to see right there. And this right here are explanations of each of the settings that you can adjust. I'll be going over those. Simple and easy. Connecting your Reese programmable servo to your computer is super simple. You got your servo right here. Obviously they gotta be programmable. Just plug it into both of those and then right into the servo programmer. So this is what it's gonna look like once you get through a few little hoops to get this thing in. And um, when I was downloading it, you gotta have a wind zip to unzip it. It said not a normal not a normally downloaded file. And then when I got it downloaded, I kind of had to go around a few things, but it was all right there. Just kind of click around a little bit, you'll find it. And then I got it to here. Then I had to go another permission to make it come up. But once I got all that going, it's simply right here and ready to go. When you plug the servo up, like I showed you, and we're gonna start right here with a servo angle. It's at 130 degrees. If you adjust this up to, say, uh, 202, if you already had your endpoints set, you'll have to change them on the radio because this changes the ratio of how far you're going to, you know, go as far as how far as you turn the steering wheel. Servo neutral, that's basically your trim. You can adjust that right here. Pulse width modulation power. That's your output power. So in the previous video where I tested it, that's all we got to see was 78% of the servo's power. We're gonna go ahead and turn that all the way up. Dampening factor. What this does is this keeps the servo from overshooting when you set an endpoint and you turn the wheel all the way. It keeps the servo from going past the endpoint. And right now it's at 75. It can be adjusted way up. In my test drive, it ran perfectly fine. So I'm just simply going to leave it back at there. And as long as you've got this clicked on it, you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to actually take care of that. Sensitivity. This is kind of like the uh, narrow band, you know. You can tighten it up to be really sensitive right here, or you can loosen it up. Say you have, a, I guess, a radio that likes to drift a lot. You may want to loosen that up a little bit. Soft start. What this does is, say uh, your wheels are turned and you power it up. A lot of servos, they'll just zip right over to where they're supposed to be. Usually the neutral or wherever the steering wheel happens to be. This will actually make it do it softly. And this is only on startup. This could, you know, keep you from pinching a finger. Hey, it's happened. Inversion, that's basically you can reverse the rotation of the servo right here. Say you have a four-wheel steering truck and you don't have a radio that has four-wheel steer capability and the rear servo has to be reversed. Well, you can do it right here so long as you have one of the Reef's programmable servos. Um, everything with the new case and all that. You can adjust all this stuff with it. If you have a Sanwa radio and you use that style signal, there you go. The narrow band is for the Futaba radios. And right here is a really good feature as far as uh, if you lose signal. Some of the other servos, they'll jack hard to one side or the other if they lose radio signal but still have power. This right here is nice. That's a nice feature right there and your overload pr protect right here. Turn it on <clears throat> at 5.2 seconds of stall, let me get my finger out of there, the servo will drop to 58.8% power. 7.3, it'll drop to 47.5% power. 10.4 seconds, it'll drop to 31.4% power. This can help you save your servo it can save the board in case you happen to 
uh, park your vehicle on an incline or pull it up to a rock and you're sitting there chatting with your buddies. You know, that servo is constantly working trying to hold those tires and this could actually save your servo from burning up. That's important right there. I really do like that. So once you get all this stuff adjusted here, um, pretty much click the right button and that goes to your servo. And once you've got that, the servo is actually programmed and then you can click the read and verify that everything actually sent to the servo. And at this point, you're done with the tuning. Well guys, hopefully I helped you get set up to program your reef servo. Hopefully I was thorough enough on my explanations of what the settings do that you can program your servo yourself. There are links in the description to get this programmer along with the programmable servos, in this case, the 777. And if you have any questions about what different features do, ask them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to get back to you and answer your question as most accurately as I can. Keep in mind, I don't always get notifications for comments, so hopefully I will see yours and get it answered. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.